Back into it, Jason? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's come around pretty quick. Um, so it seems like we've just been training all of a sudden. Um, or it seems like we've just finished the grand final or something, back into the footy again. So, uh, But it's certainly a, a welcome return, sort of back, obviously back to the footy and, and over the, the pre season and the heat and all that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, so hopefully blow a few cobwebs out this week. That was the pre season, Jase. You've done a few mm. of them? Yeah, yeah, I've actually racked up a few now. They don't get any easier, that's for sure. And uh, I guess leading into the first sort of, uh, it's only a trial, but you still get nervous, you know what I mean? So. Uh, the expectation on yourself is always still there and I guess while it's still there I'm, I'm still sort of keen to play. Grand final been sort of forgotten about or was it used as a, a bit of a motivator? Um, not really, no. It's, it wasn't a big issue about like, yeah, it was terrible getting beaten. It was hard and all that sort of thing and I personally haven't watched the, the grand final from last year but um, it hasn't really been spoken about and uh, we've just sort of been focusing on how we can improve on this year and, and probably start a little bit better than last year and see how we go. But um, yeah, not a lot has been spoken about the, the grand final loss last year. I guess it's probably giving you more confidence mm. going into this year because you've yeah. probably overachieved by a lot of people's expectations last yep. year, so it's such a building. But... Yeah, definitely. Oh, we got a, a lot of confidence out of obviously the final series last year and in the back end of our season. So um, yeah, like a lot of people can say that we did overachieve, but that's certainly not the feeling within the group. And uh, that's certainly something um, towards the back end of the season, I think myself and a few other senior guys uh, knew that we were, were capable of doing what we did and uh, felt like we were building with something. So hopefully we can, can start a little bit better this season, uh, take the confidence out of last season and um, hopefully build on a better start and, and put ourselves in a better position. Is it personally yourself, you, you're feeling sort of as fit as you've ever thought going into it? Yeah, oh, it's like everyone says when you turn 30 and that, you're on the downhill slide and uh, about your way you feel and everything starts creaking and that. But uh, yeah, a few things creak, but that's been happening since I was about 22. So um, uh, touch wood, I'm, I'm feeling okay at the moment. And uh, so I'll just play it by year and hopefully it um, sort of translates into a sort of a, a few good games for the Roosters early in the season. You've had a lot of representative duties this year, Joe? Yeah, well, I've never not been, but um, it's probably something that I haven't even thought about that for bloody five five years or so now. So uh, I've never not been, but um, yeah, I'm not waiting for any phone calls, that's for sure. Well, the early talk, mm. Blues need some good forwards. If you, your form is worrying you, mm. you, you're certainly going to be probably up there to be picked. Yeah, I guess so, but I think there's a lot of young guys in the system now that have uh, certainly proved themselves, the Leroy Lars and, and all them sort of guys um, sort of coming through just off the top of my head. But, um, yeah, no, there's plenty of younger guys I guess they could pick before they pick me, so, um, yeah, but we'll see what happens. Jason, you really feel the fact that everyone's going to be after you guys this year, play the grand final, you're the hunted. Yeah, yeah, we, Smitty certainly um, addressed that, sort of touched on it so far. Um, Last year we, we weren't expected to do anything and, and we sort of flew under the radar a little bit but it's um, teams are going to be ready for us now and they're going to be ready for the Carnies and Pierces and all them sort of guys and Jake Friends getting better every week so um, they've all had good off seasons except obviously Toddy with his groin so we're certainly ready for the, the fact that teams will be um, like in for a hard game and, or expecting a hard game when they play us so we're certainly going to have to lift and, uh, on what we showed last year. The, the runners up before you come out in 09, they just slipped completely down. Yep. How do you go against complacency with your life? Oh, we've really spoke about our attitude and, and, and every level, sort of off the field, at training, and then hopefully that translates on the field. So um, Smithy sort of rammed it home a bit and Brace very, very uh, adamant that um, the, only, the only sort of thing going against us is ourselves and uh, we're the only ones that can sort of bring ourselves down. So uh, we're just going to concentrate on training hard, preparing well and... and meeting that expectation of not only ourselves but of our fans. If you have watched that grand final, it must, it must burn it. Yeah, bloody hell. Eh? Because Gaz got, got the ring and I've seen him more than nearly most of the blokes outside of footy. So, um, yeah, it certainly does. It's, um, it's a tough thing to sort of think about and that sort of thing. And I guess anyone who's played in one sort of knows exactly how it feels, you know. So, um, so I guess we just get this season underway and sort of raise those memories as soon as we can and stop seeing those guys hold that trophy up on all the sports shorts and that, which is yuck. <laughs> <laughs> Contract-wise, where, where are you at? You've got another year to run? No, I'm not too sure. I, I've got to um, see how we go this year. I've got a bit of an agreement with Smitty that um, if I'm feeling OK and playing OK, then we'll, we'll talk about it then. But, um, yeah, I'm just sort of playing it by year now. I'm, I'm just... Uh, Still trying to chase that elusive premiership, so um, I think we're certainly building to something here, and there's not going to be no outlandish statements or anything like that. But I think every team's feeling good at the moment. But 
Um, whilst ever we've got guys like Pierce and Carney and them sort of guys available to play here, I, I want to play as long as I can. So um, I'll be doing everything I can to look after myself on and off the field and, and see what happens. So hey, you're a bit more busy, you might uh, have yeah. a look at it, see how you're feeling, how the body's Yeah, going. yeah, definitely. Like it's it's such a things happen every week and, and so much changes, so many variables in the game. So I'll just uh, assess it with Smithy during the year and probably guys like Braith and Nate, the senior guys at the club, and speak to them. And but um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot to happen between now and then, and, and I'm not sort of too worried about it to be honest with you. Do you think your time in England might help you with your longevity? Oh, it's, it's, it certainly refreshed me mentally. Um, I come back. I was a bit of a bit of a you know like. Um, sort of thought about things too much and worried about a lot of things that were out of my control before I left and when I come back it was just like there was a load off my shoulders so certainly helped me mentally and um, yeah everyone thinks they go to England for because it's easier but it's it's definitely not the guys are just as big and strong and um, yeah the, there's a couple of teams that probably aren't as competitive at the top end but it's still tough footy week in and week out so it's not as if you go over there for a holiday but certainly like I said before uh, mentally I'm much, was much more refreshed when I come back. Seeing you went so Pedro. well. Seeing you went so well last year. Um, I asked that Pedro question. Yeah, so the fact yeah. that Pedro's got you. Got you yeah. He's got three years on you. Does that give you a bit of a... Yeah, well, like Petro's a pretty exceptional athlete, but um, yeah, it certainly does uh, give me a little bit of hope that I can play for maybe one or two more seasons. But um, it will, like I said, we'll cross that bridge midway through the season. But there's guys like Pricey and, and Ruben, and they, they played for a fair bit longer. So I think there's a lot of guys playing a lot longer than... Or, to the into their early 30s, uh, more so than there was sort of five or ten years ago. Uh, seeing you went so well last year, do you think you'll find it a bit harder, probably more players in rep footy this year? Yeah, that's certainly some one thing that we're probably going to have to deal with. Um, we've got a few guys in our team like Skidzy and uh, Toddy, and they got some pretty prestigious awards in the game. So I guess that'll translate into representative jerseys, and, and obviously they played for their country at the end of the season. So that's something that we're going to have to deal with. But um, we're lucky we've got. It's a pretty experienced team as far as an Astor and Minnie and all them guys to sort of uh, deal with that sort of thing. And Smithy's a pretty experienced coach as far as that's concerned, as far as preparing us uh, for that, that part of the season. So, um, yeah, but certainly he's going to be another another variable that we didn't have to deal with last year that we will have to get our heads around this year. You're looking forward to playing with Mark Riddell, you? Yeah, yeah, he's Piggy. Down. Yeah, he's been a bit of a breath, breath of fresh air around the joint. He's, um, yeah, he's a bit of a larrikin, but he's sort of... He's toned it down a little bit as he's got a bit older. He's sort of got got the family now, and he's uh, sort of more concentrated on that sort of thing than than layering up and that sort of thing. But no, he's always been a good fella, Piggy, and he's going to be great for the club and, and great for guys like Friendy and that sort of thing as far as the smarts as a hooker and all that sort of thing. So uh, no, he's, he's uh, been very welcomed at the club.